Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, we're going to have a, a match after four to the game against QPR, which we won 1 0. Uh, like I say, take a scrappy 1 0 all day long, but you know, uh, a win's a win, you know, three points, a win's a win. So I'm going to go through some, you know, players. I'm uh, going to have a bit of a, a recap on it. I think we can all fair to say that uh, the first half were a bit cagey. Either size, to be fair. We were obviously, you know, needing points to stay up and QPR were also needing points to consolidate uh, the playoff hopes. So I'm going to have a, you know, a player review of it, uh, the team that started yesterday. If I'm being honest, I were a bit, what, Kitchen, no, Izaka, I'm like, here we go again. We, well, you know, we're alternate side yet again. Still trying to find the elusive win. Um, it did look a st pretty strongish side, to be fair. Both Queen and Bassi starting. Uh, I know there were rumours going about it, were looking at the goalkeeper situation, but I think for such as Brad Collins, it was, you know, a bit of a, you know, testament that he, he, he stayed with him. So, yeah, what we're going to do, we're just going to go with Brad Collins. So, I think to be fair, didn't really have a lot to do, but what he did do looked pretty com you know, comfortable in area where we were having to do. And all around, still the performance, I would say, uh, again, it was called upon what he had to do. I know the last couple of games and that has been under spotlight. So, for me, Brad, Brad Collins, uh, you know, I'd say a solid seven. I gave him a seven out of ten for uh, his, you know, his his performance. Uh, what he did again, it's no, it's no reflection on uh, what he didn't do or out like that. It's, it's just a uh, you could go away for a team, and I think that what they did do, the the players, what a what a solid performance. Uh, just trying to think, the other the other guy I can bring up. Um, Maybe this guy, Elik. Again, I'd, I'd say a pretty silly performance. It's going to be one of them where it's, I think, a, a big improvement. Um, no individual errors or mistakes. I know we'll like late on in game. Going to be a, I think it will, uh, Lyndon Dykes, more or less. A, you know, the fourth final whistle kind of thing across came in. I think it was from chair. And he well, like broke away and luckily for us it, it, it went up at bar. But again, as regards to keeping such as like uh your dykes, Grey, Austin when he came on for Queen's Park Range as well, they seemed to handle it pretty well, to be fair. I know that um Chair were trying dark wing and that but Again, at the end of the day, we are the Ardent League. You won't expect any any different. Uh, then we obviously we're going to come on to us as captain. Well, as a standing captain for the well, uh, call is that Mads. Again, um, he he did what he had to do. You know, he did what he had to do. No individual errors. Again, it's been under spotlight for a few at uh, games, individual errors and stuff. But again, starting to, well, starting to be uh, an understatement to be fair, but you start, you know, the improvement is there, more solid. It's just cutting out of individual errors. And like I said, to cover captain's armband since Collie went out as well. So it'd be a bit of a, you know, responsibility on, on his shoulders as well. So, uh, again, I'd give him a 7 out of 10, as like with Elik, 7 out of 10 for them two guys. It's it's going to be one of them situations where you're, you're hoping that they're going to be standing, you know, step up and be accounted for. Uh, I'm not saying they're not doing it on purpose. One guy who did really impress me uh, for playing in that position, which a bit unknown, is Jordan Williams. I thought he'd won a one of his best games for Barnsley for quite some time. Again, I'm not 
No, I'm not being disrespectful. I don't like that, but position that we were playing in, I thought I did it pretty well. I'm going to give him 7.5, maybe, you know, 7.7, 7, but 7.5. I thought he had a, you know, a pretty solid game playing a, a part at bat three. Uh, another another string to his, his ball because he's been, you know, predominantly a right back, but he has been played at left back or left wing back. But I thought, yeah, John Williams, I thought uh, he had one of his uh, better games, to be fair. I thought he had one of his better games. That's going back to, so obviously that's goalkeeper situation. So Tartan's uh, is back free. The other player I'm going to be looking at is a guy who, who's on loan. And it's surprised me how he's not been, you know, playing, been played earlier and more regular. And that's Vita again. Bags of pace, wanted to get a bat on pitch. And I know I've seen a few comments on uh, over different social media sites and that baffled by why he hasn't been starting before. Said that we got him in on loan in August, and then I think his debut was against Barrow, and then all of a sudden he's like he took off. So over months it's might have been used, utilized. Um, again, looks a looks a good player, looks a good player with pace, uh, pretty nimble, pretty quick, pretty you know pretty short, small guy, but again. It could be our benefit, our advantage, because he's pretty nippy. He just get about a bit. So uh, Vita, I want to give him a seven point five as well, because I thought he he did pretty well on on, uh, on wings. And like I said, there's been quite a bit of people on social media saying, "Well, where's he been?" You know, we, we could have had him a bit earlier, uh, which is true. Um, but again, who knows? I know it came out saying that we're in training. He won't match fit. So then we go to the other wing, which was Callum Styles, which again play, you know, not his natural preferred foot playing out on that side. Uh, but when you've got a Vita, you know, if Britain were available, if he were uh, fit, what would have happened uh, with regards Styles? Might have seen a change in formation. Might have had him further up field like has been played in, in past. Again, Styles. I thought he did pretty well, to be fair. The same video played out of that position. Uh, not a right-footed player. But, again, he did, he did what he had to do for cause. Again, I, it's a bit undecided because, you know, I've given, you know, defence and that sevens and 7.5s and that, and it's going to be round about that ball, ball figure. Um, again, you might agree, disagree, and it's all about opinions. So, again... Please let us know your man at match below when we go through them, and uh, we'll have a, you know, be interesting to see if we can get a gauge on where we're going to be. It might not be a million miles away, or it might be someone, you know, you might see something different. All about opinions. So yeah, I'm going. Cam Styles, I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him seven point five. I'd say seven seven point five, but I'm going to say seven point five, mainly because we're playing out on uh, art position, and it it didn't look out of place, but. It was one of them where he, it's not his preferred position. You know what I mean? So I want to give, I want to give Styles 7.5. You know, you might agree, you might disagree and say, no, I thought he had a, you know, an average game or all like that. Again, it's all about opinions. Uh, let, let me know what what, uh, what you think. I'm going through what uh, through team here. Move on to midfield. We're going to Josh Benson. Again, Undecided with Josh, it, it, you know, it, it when he does play well, he's on it, and I didn't think, you know, it's one, it's one of them where I'm still out on him, kind of thing. I wanted him to do well, obviously, I do want him to do well, and it was a good all round performance. Josh, I'm gonna six and a half, six point five, six point five. Um, I just don't know. I a jury's still out on him for me. I, I want him to do well, I am. But for some times throughout the game, I'm thinking if, if he just released it quicker, if he'd have, you know, got shot in it quicker, don't overhold it onto the ball or don't do that obviously complicated switch back kind of thing. 
Um, Josh, no disrespect, but I'm, it's 6.5 for me, for Josh. Um, hoping he can, you know, move on and improve on where, uh, if he carries on in this, you know, in, in setup that he is at minute, obviously I do. But for me, Josh, it, it, 6, 6.5, 6.5 for Josh. So then we go on to his, you know, midfield partner. And again, a bit like Vita for me is small, lightweight and nimble. And he does get about on pitch a lot and about scormers. Again, I'd be interested to see what he'd be like with a different type of player that's siding him. Um, Gomez, very quick, gets about on pitch a lot. Um uh, Sometimes it can a bit lightweight as in gets off, you know, brush off the ball a bit easy. Um, but I'm going to give him a seven. I'm going to give him a seven. Um, again, the one no standout, well, I'm, I'm glad the one, no standout poor performances. Uh, you might agree, you might disagree. Please like, leave your comments below. Um, but for me, Gomez, I'm going to give him a seven. Um, it did what he had to do as a guard. A lot of team, they, they did what they had to do as a team. Um, and it was up it and you know the importance of it. Yeah, so I'm gonna I only go him as a, a seven for that. And again, you might you might think different, you might have thought different, and you might have you know marked him differently. Uh, and like I say, it's all about opinions, isn't it? So then we obviously we've covered his, his goalkeeper defense. Uh, we're going to like attacking third now, and it was a bit what are we going to play the system? Uh, sorry, guys, we'll keep looking over here. I'm just sorting out the next lot of players, what's going to be coming up. I uh, wanted to share with you guys and we move on to Bassi. Um, start, you know, is he seems up for it. I'm impressed with him. Uh, reports what I read earlier on saying it were a bit in and out in it, but is he wanted to prove his son? Uh, is he wanted to prove his son? And to be fair, he seems to be really up for it. It seems in a, a, a bit of a threat, you know, maybe in like a Morris up front and playing off and kind of thing. So I, I've found that niche, that that area right now, they seem to be focusing on that, that final third, so to say. A uh, bit, uh, bit of quality. A bit of quality. Um, what can I say? Quality. A fresh, fresh, fresh ideas, fresh mind, fresh impetus. I mean, that's what we we're lacking. Uh, so, with Bassi, I'm going to give... A bit hard with Bassi. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a 7 point... I'm going to give him a 7.5, Bassi. And again, you all might think, no, we, we were average, but... I want to give Bassi a 7.5. Um, like I said, it's started on bench um, when Queen had made his uh, debut. But since he's come on and he's like in first team like now, he's starting in first team. He don't look a, a million miles off it. And I thought, wait, he didn't really have that many amount of games uh, before he came and joined us. Um so I thought he might have been a bit off it with pace, especially when we started on bench when Queener started, which leads it nicely up to Queener. I think I can speak on, on my uh, opinion is that when he made his uh, debut, I was spreading ball about, uh, seems to be in and about all of it area. Uh, final third seems to be like a floating about and making it his own. Don't want to stop still, drop your shoulder, turn the pace. Quality there, quality player. I'm surprised he didn't start many, uh, many more games at Fulham, to be fair, and he's gone on record to say stuff about that uh, in his own, own opinion. Great goal, just outside, edge at box, more or less on the white line, but just outside. Great strike, great strike. Um, and again, quality, quality. I'm going to give him eight, eight out of ten uh, for Queener. His work rate, his effort, you know, what, what he actually did, what he brought to the game. I, I'm going to give him, and obviously, scoring winning goal, but 
ticket winning goal aside from him, his work rate. I'm gonna give him a an eight out of ten. Uh for for me, for me, my you know, maybe man at match, who knows? I've still got one more to go yet, haven't I? So one more to go. And I think we all know that, isn't it? His uh his main his main man up front, and that's Carlton Morris. Again, work rate via unbelievable. Leading front line, shouting to players, you know, when he's off at ball. If obviously a game about you'd have seen you'd have seen him organising, you'd have seen him pointing and getting in the ear and you know, constantly talking, constantly wanting wanting ball and that. Again, very, very close. Um because there's a few for me. What are up there and there about? Um, I'm going to give Morris, I'm going to give him a 7.5. Morris, uh, you might disagree, you might think he won't man at match for work rate, the work effort where he's putting off at ball. But for me, from for, uh, my opinion, um, 7.5 for Carlton. And again, a good all round performance to be fair. Um, we all know which substitutes we've got Palmer and Devante Cole what came on. A bit hard to really give him Matt, Matt ratings out of 10. You could give him a six and a half because for when they came on, there weren't enough time for him to make a, a real impact and a, a, a real difference uh, for me. But again, about opinions, in it? But for me, this guy is my man at match. Queener again, eight out of ten. He's coming, he you can tell he's hungry for football, he's wanted to play football, which is great to see. You get to see for our cause, anyway. Um, I'm hoping now, as the next game when it comes up, that there's not going to be too many changes. He might have dropped on this kind of team, this formula, this player. Because I believe it's that if you get players on a bit of a confidence boost, get the understanding there as well. We've got two long kids, two well, kids, two, but two young low knees up front now. Wouldn't it be great to see some kind of like a click there, a bit of understanding? Because it looks like Woodrow's going to be out until reports going to be about April time. I know we've got like Izaka, we've got Cole, Adebayo when he comes back fit. So it again for me, it'd be nice to get like an understanding between them guys here, they're running off at ball and the link up play and stuff. We're gonna have players gonna be coming back. Obviously, we are we're gonna be having kitchen, we're gonna have Britain uh, be coming back from injury. Zaka apparently were injured as well. But if it's if it's not broke, don't you know if it's not broke, then don't tinker away. It. It's just try and keep it, keep it basic, keep it simple. Don't try to complicate it. And all being well, it might be the start of things to come. I'm not getting too in front of myself. I'm not going, you know, oh, well, we've, we've won a game and this is our, but we've won a game. It's three points. Being long overdue and long may it continue. We might build on from that. It might be the impetus that we need. Um, and again, people might be saying, oh, yeah, you're going, we've won a game and yeah, but, Let's build on it. Let's take it on. Let's go for that. And to be fair, you're looking at uh, QPR. Would you have thought about why in fourth? You know, we, we, when we played West Brom not that, that long ago and we were up in playoffs, you wouldn't say we're a million miles away from our work ethic and theirs kind of thing. First half of KG, we get that. But then it's all about how you approach second half. Key substitutions again. On the mark, still surprised he's, he's not coming on. Uh, could have beefed up a midfield a bit because I know that uh, Joe Field for, for them, QPR, old campaigner, you know, they're starting to not time waste but put it in a bit. It'd be nice to see an on the mark come into it. But again, I'm, I'm picking negatives and stuff. But for me, uh, I think another big surprise what uh, attendance when it got announced. <laughs> like, <laughs> <coughs> really? So, yeah, that, that, I think that was another big surprise that when it came out on uh, the old PA system. 12,000 and um, 
a bit baffling for me about that when I was looking around. I'm thinking, is it really? <laughs> so I don't know where we're counting there. Like, we must have uh, lost count. But hey, that's that. I'm going for win. I'm going for reporting. I'm doing uh, this thing as well, uh, a bit of renewal. Uh, regard the player ratings. Might get a bit better graphics and stuff like that. Um, and get other people's opinions on. Have, have a better analysis and go through it. But I just wanted to get my thoughts on the result and the players I have performed. Uh, could probably go more in depth. Again, please leave all your likes, comments below. And uh, I do read them all. I'll, I'll respond to them all. And it's just appreciate, you know, y'all for watching this. Please hit the like and subscribe and all that normal stuff I keep saying on all the time and that, but I do appreciate it. It does help me and channel art as well. Uh, just one thing left to say three wins and you reds. <laughs>